Hello friends, Joe here, aka Josie. Uh, welcome to my weird little world and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit of a setup update of sorts and just sharing a few different uh, supplies and how I've customized my supplies to suit my needs. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or if you're one of my patrons, you would know that I'm a lover of the A3 size TN. Uh, it's something that I um, decided that I wanted in my life many years ago and uh, it works for me. Uh, if you have a look, I'll put a link in the description below, but I actually have a setup video here of the first one that I uh, ever bought. I have recently in the last month added a second to my life and I am in love with it as much as the first. I have the two of them spread out across my desk and I work between the two of them throughout the day and it is just lovely. So the second thing I've added this week to my life is a pen roll. Uh, I've been eyeing off all the fabulous uh, Shendag and Superior Labour ones that people have been sharing what's in their bag and that sort of thing of recent days. And yeah, I just felt that it was something that I needed to have in my life as well. Um, I do on the side, apart from my uh, illustration practice, I dye my own fabrics and I teach locally a eco dyeing class um, showing you how to do this as well. Uh, so I've got quite a lot of those lying around and silk ribbons that I also dye as well. So I've pulled out a heap of sort of ones that are lying around and made this pen roll from those. So there's things like this sort of purples, uh, plummy colours with sort of washer type pattern showing and some stars and that sort of thing. So what I have in here, uh, so what I did is I made sort of a slip cover type style with a flap. So it's got this flap that protects everything and then it just folds in two with the silk ribbon as a bit of a tie closure. Uh, so the sorts of things that I carry around. So this guy sits on my desk between my two A3 TNs nine times out of ten uh, or drawing out and about. Uh, I will drag this with me or I will move it from studio to couch, that sort of thing. So everything in here is stuff that I use um, nine times out of ten throughout my day. Uh, so my ever favourite, the Prisma Colour, Colour Rays in the grey. Uh, I also have the Mitsubishi two-tone pencil, uh, some HB ones for highlighting and your white china markers, that sort of thing. So that's my main drawing, sketching pencils. Uh, plus a, a rubber. I'm loving the Lyra in the dust free at the moment. And I've also got uh, just a tiny sharpener in there as well. I've got a couple of mechanical pencils. Uh, the lovely mono uh, eraser and the trusty Posca in white. Then I have all the favourites of my coloured pencils, so the ones that I use uh, for most things and most throughout my day. I have uh, just a few loose Neo colours in a little container to add to my watercolour practice. Um, I have ordered the gorgeous little uh, mini palette that um, Stephanie Law had in a Kickstarter. I think that comes in November. So that may replace this in that pocket there, we'll see. And then I have a little spritzer for spritzing my watercolour. And then a small little 12 color watercolor palette. So these are all just um, my favorite Daniel Smiths in there. Then for when I uh, want to take a little bit more, I created just a sweet little jawstring bag as well. With a little two dip pen thing that I use for water. A little cloth and uh, this sweet little palette. It's just the perfect size to carry around. Uh, this guy is from Case for Making. Uh, if, if you're looking at 
wanting to purchase one of these. Uh, they have them from time to time across their website. You pretty much have to stalk their website to get one though. Uh, so yes, I carry sort of extended watercolour stuff that I would want to use in this. Uh, so I have been asked if I'm going to make these to sell on my Etsy shop. The short answer is no. Uh, I have uh, rheumatoid arthritis, so my poor little hands don't like sewing uh, a whole lot or for extended periods of time. So this guy is just for me, I'm afraid. Uh, I do, however, sell the ribbon on my Etsy shop in small little packs. So if you're interested, there's different designs and different ones of those up there for purchase. So that's where I'm at with uh, customising my everyday supplies and adding a little bit of beauty into the everyday. I hope this inspires you to change up the everyday things that you use in your art supplies. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.